Naam ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaba mtazamaji wa Runinga Bab Kubwa Horizon TV. Bila shaka leo ni siku ya Jumatatu. Na mshangaa vipi nahodha ameweza kujaja studio jinsi ambavyo naweza kuahidi siku ya Ijumaa due to public demand manake kila siku napigwa simu naambiwa kwamba nahodha kipindi cha sanchari ya michezo kinafaa kiwe kila siku e, kuanzia Jumatatu hadi Jumapili lakini kwa sababu kwamba e, kuanzia siku ya Jumatatu e, Jumatano na vile vile siku ya Ijumaa nitakuwa nakuletea kipindi hicho ambacho moja kwa moja kutoka katikati mwa jiji kuu la Kenya Nairobi na bila shaka nitakuwa natangulisha e, kikosi changu cha nguvu ambacho nitakuwa e, na shirikiana nacho kila siku ya Jumatatu lakini hino ni mambo ambayo nitakuwa nafanya baadaye manake ni sura ambazo umeweza kuziona katika runinga zenu baadhi ya wachezaji ambao wamekuwa wakiinua bendera ya taifa hili la Kenya wachezaji hawa wameweza kuchezea vilabu mbalimbali ikiwemo klabu ya Tasca, Madhare, Bandari, Gor Mahia wote wako hapa ndani na wachezaji wawili ambao wameweza kuchezea timu ya Bandari na wachezaji wawili ambao wameweza kuchezea timu ya Azam na mchezaji ambao ameweza kuchezea timu e, ya Sofa Paka na nitakuwa nawatambulisha baadaye bila shaka ni siku ya Juma tatu na mwelekezo wangu Suleman of Tumbo kipindi hichi tunaanza kwa kuweza kuangalia ratiba ama matokeo ya ligi kuu ya Mombasa kulikoni mambo yapi yalizofanyika katika county 001 shukran sana Bandari Youth waliweza kuwabamiza Mantubila magoli manne kwa sahani West Ham wakaweza kuadhibu vibaya sana vijana wa Good Hope Wanderers waliweza kusajili sare ya kutofungana wakati ambapo walikuwa wanacheza na Luxury Wakilishi wa majengo Omax waliweza kuwachabanga vibaya sana kwa garagaza na kuaibisha vijana wa Cross japo kwa goli moja tu. Boka Junior si ya Uholanzi no. Bila shaka ni ya Mombasa waliweza kuchabangwa na Soweto magoli matatu kwa mawili. Bila shaka Chelsea nao waliweza kushindwa magoli matatu kwa moja. Mantubila wakaweza kuadhibu Boka Junior maana Boka Junior walikuwa na game in hand kibidi mechi moja ichezwe siku ya Jumamosi, mechi nyingine iweze kuchezwa siku ya Jumapili. Haki Afrika ambao na shiriki e, mchuano huno ama ligi hino kwa mara ya kwanza waliweza kuadhibiwa na wakilishi wa magongo magongo rangers goli moja kwa bila na mechi ambayo inamaliza udhia wa leo katika sehemu zetu ni luxury waliweza kuchabangwa na wanderers goli moja kwa bila na shukran sana Suleiman of Tumu na kwa kwamba uweza changia kipindi hichi kwa kutumu kwa kutumu ujume mfupi kwa nambari 4097409497 ama tupige simu nambari ikiwa ni 0711707707 na utupe kauli yako kuhusiana kipindi hichi cha leo na na moja kwa moja nitakuwa natambulisha kikosi bab kubwa ambacho nitakuwa na shirikiana lacho kila siku ya ya Jumatatu kuweza kufanikisha kipindi hichi ni kitengo kipya sana ndani ya runinga ya Horizon TV na bila shaka karibu yangu ni mchezaji ambaye ameweza kuchezea timu mbalimbali huko nchini na namtambua sana kutoka ambapo alikuwa anachezea timu ya Bandari vile vile ameweza kuchezea timu ya taifa Harambe Stars Crispin Odula Crispin kaka Sema Safi vipi bwana? Fiti sana. Nafurahi kukuona bwana. Mimi mwenyewe nafurahi zaidi. Karibu. Ah nimekaribia. Unajua 2016 niliweza kutafuta by then nilikuwa Mombasa. Mm. Fanya idha moja kulikuwa na testi kwamba Crispin Odula isi nataka kujiunga na Gor Mahia ama FC Leopard. Nikaweza kutafuta sana. Kwanza ilikuwa sema kwamba FC Leopard wameweza kusajili. Yeah. Lakini haya madai ni kwa nataka tuweke faruanja. Lakini leo tupo nayo hapa ndani na hizi studio zetu za Horizon TV bila shaka tutakuwa tunazunguza mambo mengi sana. Na bila shaka Crispino Dula alafu uko naye. Eh. Sijui ni mtaja ama si mtaja bila shaka eh acheza acheza Zam, acheza Madhari, acheza Tasca mara mbili. Ulienda ukasafiri ukarudi ulicheza al shabab fc <laughs> wasifu osborn monday karibu sana naam safari yako boli ulianzia wapi osborn monday safari yangu mpira ilianzia kwa kushikama vizuri jamaa wako bila shaka sante safari yangu mpira ilianza kwa mtaa yangu ya huruma kuna pali kiwanja ndogo hapo ilikuwa inaitwa huruma stadium 
hapo ndo safari yangu ilianza na niliweza kujiunga na chuo cha chuo ya upili ya Pumwani United Pumwani hai hai mm -hmm. kutoka hapo nika join Madhari kwa sababu kwamba shule ya Pumwani yeah. ilitoa wachezaji wengi sana sana eh yeah. baadhi yao ni kina Osborne Mande <laughs> na wengine <laughs> Osborne Monday. Kuna wengi, kuna wengi. Kuna wengi. wengi kitutajia list. It, tomeza kipindi ukiwataja. <laughs> na ushukuru sana Osborne Monday. Karibu sana ndani ya kipindi bob kubwa sinchari ya michezo. Na kila siku ya jumatatu utakuwa hapa kuweza kuwapa watazamaji wetu mambo mengi mengi ambayo yanaendelea katika tasnia ya soka. Na Jambo langu la tatu ni jambo ambalo tumekuwa naye sana tumeweza kushiriki katika mashindano mbalimbali na ni mchanganuzi ambaye ameweza kubobea katika tasnia ya uchanganuzi wa soka na najua kwamba yesi shabiki wa TV yote manake anaangalia jinsi ambavyo anacheza na anakosoa na anaweza kujaja Anwar Vipi kaka? Sawa, kwa Na furahi kukuona bwana. Vipi bwana? Nashukuru kabisa. Unajua kila siku ya Jumatatu tutakuwa ndani ya kipindi hichi babu kubwa sanchari ya michezo. Tutakuwa pamoja sana. Kuweza kuangazia mambo mbalimbali. Sawa sawa. Hasa ya soka. Kabisa. Karibu bwana. Nashukuru. Shukran. Na wa mwisho ni mchezaji wa zamani wa timu ya Bandari na sasa hivi yupo City Stars. Hameza kubobea sana katika tasnia ya kucheza mpira na vile vile ni mtanuzi mkongwe katika runinga ya Horizon TV Id Shikanda. Nao. Umechezea timu ya Azam under 19. Experience ilikuwa haje? Ah, yes. Experience ilikuwa tofauti. Uh, ukilinganisha uh, Kenya na Tanzania basi nilipata mazingara basi ni yameweza kuwa ni tofauti kabisa jinsi mnavyofanya mazoezi mnavyowekwa mnavyoshughulikiwa kila kitu kilikuwa tofauti kando na Kenya Hmm. No. Na shukran sana karibu sana ndani kipindi babu kubwa sanchari ya michezo Tayari. Monday edition ndo mkoko unaalika maua <laughs> yani ndo tunaanza bana leo leo noma ndo tunaendelea leo hatari <laughs> kichapo odula <coughs> safari yako mpira ilianza wapi mi safari yangu ya mpira ilianza nikiwa shule ya upili ya Mombasa hai nikitokea mtaa wa Kisauni Mhm. Mm Wasema kuomba huyo ni mtawa wa huni sana bali. <laughs> Ina depend yeah. uh, Pale msikiti mkubwa. Sasa mimi huko ni mbali na nyumbani uh, lakini Amoko Kishada. Mimi Kishada. <laughs> huko nasikia hatari. <laughs> huko si hatari. Kama vile labda mimi mtu pale nimezoeleka labda na kwa kwangu labda si hatari. Mm -hmm. Lakini kwa watu wa mbali labda naona inakuwa mm -hmm. labda si hatari lakini mm -hmm. si si hatari. Mm Sema -hmm. nzuri tu. Mm -hmm. Mimi safari yangu nimeanza hapo Kishada nikaenda shule upili ya Mombasa hai pale nikakutana na maplea baadhi maplea wengi sana tuka tulipita mambo mingi hapo ndo nilipata nafasi nikaenda Costas nikiwa bado niko shule mmm mm. Dula ni jina kubwa sana sasa breakthrough yako ya kuweza kuchezea timu ya Bandari hadi kuweza kujumuisha katika kikosi cha taifa la Stars ilikuwaaje ni nilipata nafasi nilipokuwa nilipokuwa nikicheza kishada na nilipokuwa pia nikiwa shule upili so watu wa costas wengi walikuwa wanatoka kwenye shule yetu wanapatikana pale wachezaji kutoka shule so mimi nilipata nafasi nika join nikiwa form 2 so ndo nikapata hiyo nafasi ya kucheza costas pale ndo nikapata call up za i under 20s mm -hmm. 17 hapo nika proceed nikisonga mm. so, na kuna muda wewe pamoja na Abud Omar mlikuwa ni wachezaji wa pekee kutoka ukanda wa Pwani kuweza kutajwa katika kikosi cha Harambe Stars ilikuwaaje kuwakilisha kwa, Kenya katika mashindano kwangu mimi ilikuwa si si ati shukubwa juu ilikuwa nishapitia timu ya taifa mara mara kadhaa so mimi ilikuwa ni kumshika Abdulomar mkono kama mkongo wake pale kumpamotisha so, juu nilikuwa nikikana muda mwingi ndio mm -hmm. naweza na ndio hivyo amesonga blue mara hata sisi tunafurahia full bacteria hatari mm -hmm. sana mm -hmm. bila shaka mambo yapo mengi sana kuweza kuzungumzia soko yako hapa ukaamua kwenda nje ukarudi gormai ilikuwaaje osborne mande yes. ili jina jina kubwa arambe stars umecheza okay boli yako after pumwani kuweza kujiunga na madhari united after hapo ilikuwaaje 
Bila și ca și ca mai oh. cu pace, <laughs> Santa. Jani angu ya boli mekua seti mekua raisi, seti pia mekua ngumu sana. Eh, lakini credit zangu zote nda arudisha pale Madhari United sabu au ndo wameni, wameni jenga. Kutoka niwe mdogo, kutoka 2 under 12, cause kumekua na tournaments na cheza. Until mbaka saa ipa limefikia. All credits zina enda Madhari. Mm. Yeah. Ok, after madare, najua umecheza Zam, kutokutua Zam, kacheza Al-Shabab. Ambapo ilikuwa ishu, Osborne Monday, ilikuwa ishu, jamu kasema ni kama Osborne Monday, sahi, asha jiunga na kikosi hatari kule. Ilikuwa aje, ama daya eke wazi. <laughs> Kwanza kabisa, wata mkwambie ndugu yangu, hii jina Al-Shabab, kuna vile watu wanaichukulia vi different. Kama uko umanu, hiyo team tuko wanacheza Al-Shabab, inamanisha vijana. Mm. So kuna pali ukienda inachukuliwa vingine. Ya yeah, ishu ishu ilikuwa lakini mapolisi walifanya kazi yao na ndio mimi wewe. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> Ukafikia wapi bwana? <laughs> Ukafikia wapi na ya mapolisi na wewe kutafutwa? As in hakupata chochote kilikuwa kinanihusisha na madai walikuwa nasema sababu ishu ilikuwa ni rafiki yangu aliniomba simu na mimi siko najua ni nini yofanya wajua yeah. marafiki ni wengi na uweze jua rafiki yako mzuri na mgani kweli ndio naye na experience katika ligi ya Tanzania ilikuwa aje oh, ligi ya Tanzania mwanake mm -hmm. kuna wachezaji wengi sana wa Kenya sasa kina tuaje majina wanapotoka katika ligi ya Kenya na kuna katika ligi ya Tanzania wakirudi basi ni kama e, safari yao ya mpira imeisha kabisa Okay, mimi naweza sema ligi ya Tanzania seti ni rahisi pia hivyo vile watu wanaichukulia na ni kama NSL ya huko. <laughs> noma. Kama, ni noma, ni noma, ah. si mchezo. Ligi ya Tanzania iko juu, iko juu sana lakini mm. kuna mkwanja na sikia hatari. Mkwanja hatari. Mm. Lakini ukindo kuna nakorogeka. <laughs> Inategemea na yeye. Uh -huh. Inategemea na yeye. Mm. <laughs> okay, mimi nikisema ligi ya Tanzania ni ni ligi moja po na ni ligi competitive sana mm -hmm. sababu ukiangalia infrastructure zao ni, ni, ni different na zetu yeah so kitu moja muona yusumbua watu ni ile mtu kutoka nchini kwako unaenda kucheza mpira nje mm -hmm. na imekuwa ni issue na wachezaji wa Kenya sana sababu ku adapt saa zingine na take time mm -hmm. si ati mtu ajui ball lakini kuna ile una miss home una miss dula una miss jomba unajua mm. kuna issue mingi mm. so ku concentrate sasa zingine pia na shida alafu pia kuna kuna mambo tu watu waga wameweka lakini wajamii wasema imani ni yako mm -hmm. eh okay. waelewa kitu nasema lakini eh yeah. anwar <laughs> wiko mtanganuzi wa masala ya soko ndio kwamba mchezaji na po tuaria taifa lake na kujaribu kutafuta green pastures eh Mambo kama haya nafaka kumwathiri kweli una miss nyumbani mara unasema nini unajua ukiwa na hayo mawazo yatakuwa affect psychologically na utaperform vizuri kweli kabisa mm. ni vile alivyotaja ni inategemea na mtu mwenyewe personally how ataenda kule na adapt if yani utaweza ku adapt itakuwa ni bora zaidi lakini ukiwa na hayo masuala ya external factor tu kumiss nyumbani nini nini itakuwa ni ngumu wewe kuconcentrate na mpira pale mm. kwa hivyo i think ni, ni how wewe mwenyewe utaweza ku change the situation u adapt kuliko kulingana na pale maeneo ambayo but at the end of the day you just have to adapt you have to adapt cuz mazungu menda kule kutafuta kabisa eh na wasi mwalimu ushazaliwa lazima utafuta ana unajata kama masuala hapa Kenya na Tanzania naweza sema culturally ni kama tuko same kuna watu unatoka maybe continent ya South America na kwenda Europe total different cultures chakula tofauti mazingara tofauti na wana wanaendelea na wanaperform. Wanaendelea na wanaperform. Na bila shaka kuna tetesi ambazo unazipata hapa na nitakuwa nazielekeza kwa Idi Shikanda. Naomba kwamba Shikanda kuna timu ambayo utakuwa unajiunga nayo eh, kuanzia msimu mpya ambao unajua kwamba msimu unaanza tarehe tarehe moja mecha ufunguzi. Sio tu tarehe moja maana mecha ufunguzi kati ya Karibangi Sharks na Gormaia katika uwanja wa Machakos. Kuna kuna fanyika. Tukao na venye mambo yatakuwa. Kuna tetesi kwamba kuna klabu moja ambayo 
wako wameza kutafuta na utakuwa unajiunga nao. Je, masuala haya ni ya kweli? Na mtazamaji bila shaka atakuwa anajibu e, madai haya katika omu ya pili kipindi sanchari ya michezo na chukua pumziko kidogo lakini kirudi takuwa nilea na kipindi babu kubwa ambacho kinatesa anga za Afrika ya mashariki na kati. Sanchari ya michezo Monday edition. Kurunzi ya taifa. Horizon TV. Horizon TV. This is Abu Najma with kids. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in the Holy Quran, Fakusu Sil Qasas, tell stories. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. So Nuh alayhi salatu wa salam was told by Allah to build an ark, a big, big ship. So it started to rain. They died, many of them. You're watching Horizon TV, the beacon for the nation. Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Dua Revival by Majid Mahmoud. Assalamu alaikum. This is your brother, Majid Mahmoud, recording for the daily reminder. Brothers and sisters, one day one of my great shiuk, Sheikh Walid Basuni, may Allah protect him, and his friend Sheikh Adil, they were spending some time reading Quran over a brother who was possessed with jinn. After some time, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that brother was cured. When Sheikh Walid Basuni and Sheikh Adil and the brother who was, alhamdulillah, got cured, they were walking, Sheikh Walid said, All of a sudden, I heard a lash as if someone was struck by a whip. And the brother who was earlier possessed, he actually flew a few steps ahead. Sheikh Walid rushed immediately to the brother, uncovered his back, and he actually saw a mark on his back. Sheikh Walid said, I was with the brother for at least the past 24 hours. He realized the jinn must have been very angry, and that brother perhaps is now repossessed, and now the Sheikh wants to recite Quran on that brother once again. As he's reciting Quran, the jinn spoke, and Sheikh Walid asked the jinn, was it you who struck that brother? Brother. And the jinn replied in a very strange and weird voice and said, yes, it was me. Sheikh Walid asked, why did you do that to him? Why did you do that to him? Then the jinn replied and said, because I hate him and I was very, very angry. Sheikh Walid asked, why didn't you harm me or Sheikh Adil? Why only him? Now look at the response of the jinn. I'm telling you the story secondhand. It's actually on YouTube on the Dean Show and you can also watch it yourself. The jinn replies and says, because you and your friend said a dua during the day, which protected you and I was unable to come near you or harm you. Allahu Akbar. Brothers and sisters, Rasulullah taught us many kinds of dua in which we can gain Allah's protection. So why not learn one of them inshallah in this video and we ask Allah to allow us to apply it and memorize it and say it the way the Prophet taught me and you to do so. Are you ready? Bismillah. This hadith can be found in Sahih Ibn Majah. It's authentic hadith. Rasulullah said, There is no one who says during the day and during the evening the following dua. Pay attention. Bismillah. In the name of Allah. The one with whose name nothing can harm, whether on earth or in the heavens. And he is the all hearing, the all knowledgeable. Whoever says that three times during the day, three times during the evening, nothing can harm the person who says this. Once again, let's say it. Brothers and sisters, say this three times in the morning, three times in the evening, and inshallah. 
Allah will protect you from all evil. Say it with certainty. Don't test Allah. Say it with confidence. And Allah bi'ithnillah will fulfill his promise. May Allah bless you. May Allah protect you from all evil. Feel free to like the video. Click here to subscribe to my personal YouTube channel. But most importantly, it's for you to click share and spread this beautiful hadith. And may Allah make you as means of protection for the whole ummah. Barakallahu feekum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Donate now. Go to www.thedailyreminder.org slash donate and stay updated by joining our network's social links. Horizon TV, the beacon for the nation. Nao mtazamaji jeza kupitwa na mambo mengi lakini namuona kivua shaja ajia studio ni bana. Kevin vipi bana? Niko kuwa kabisa. E, Mburu chilewa? Msonga mano wa magari kidogo. Mm -hmm. Sunajua Nairobi tena hapa kule hapa kule. Kweli, Kila bana. siku inakuwa ni ishu kubwa sana. Jam kidogo imenieka nje ya kipindi mwanzo mwanzo. Karibu lakini. Santi shukran. Kipindi babu kubwa. Mande leo bana. I can't afford to miss. <laughs> Sanchari no 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 no. I can't. Eh. Mm, kabisa. Cheki Mande. Mm -hmm. Crispy Nodula. Uh -huh. Big thing maze. Big name. Wakaribishe maze kwa kipindi ba ukubwa. Washa karibia naona wana feel at home. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wana jiopa ndi openye Eid Shikanda. Mgeni pia karibu sana. Mm. Eh, every day maze. Hapa hivi ndio. Tunacheza juu. Na, na bleshia ka Eid Shikanda kuna tetesi kwa mba eh, huenda ukajunga na club moja humu nchini. Je haya madai ni ya kweli na mbo weke paruanja. Bado uko City Stars. <laughs> ama huenda ukatoka bila shaka ni madai ambayo yanaendelea yameenea sana naam uh, kwa kweli ni madai ambayo mimi mwenyewe sina habari nayo uh, kwa sasa bado niko city stars na nitaendelea kuhudumia city stars hadi msimu ujao ndio nitajua basi pa kuelekea iwapo basi mida itafika ya kuondoka basi Kwa hakika Sanchari itaweza kujua ni wapi nitaweza nita kutua. Na bila shika mechi ya kwanza ambayo mtakuwa unacheza katika ligi ya NSL mtakuwa unakichabanga dhidi ya Wazito no. FC. Weka mchezaji umeweza kujitarisha vipi katika mtanange huno? Eh, kwa kweli tumeweza kunao makali uh, ukiangalia mkufunzi ambao na basi amekuja uh, msaidizi wake anajiita Tumpo basi wameweza kushikana na kuweza kunoa makali katika mazoezi hata Apo jana tumeweza kuwa na mechi ya kirafiki dhidi ya Mount Kenya. Hapo awali ilikuwa inaitwa Nakuma TFC uh, katika uga wa Hope Center. Basi tulioza kuibuka wa shindi wa magoli mawili kwa moja. Uh, basi inaonesha na, na kudhihirisha kuwa tuko tayari katika mechi yetu ya uh, mbae inakuja katika uh, weekend ijayo dhidi ya wazito. Basi itakuwa ni mechi ngumu ikiwa ni mechi ya ufunguzi, mechi ya kwanza katika timu zote mbili utapata ni timu pinzani e, tunafanyia mazoezi katika uwanja mmoja uga wa Takamtoyoyo basi ni mechi itakuwa na kasi ita, itakuwa na me, ni mechi ya ubabe sasa nyote mko home <laughs> no katika uh. mazoezi tunafanya ya uh, Camp Toyo hmm. basi mechi na uwanja nyumbani Hope wanja, Center Hope Center mbona unafanya mazoezi Hope Center unafanya uwanja <laughs> unafanya mazoezi kule Camp Toyo inalingana na ratiba uh -huh. naam hmm. kwa hivyo itakuwa ni mechi yenye upinzani mkali uh, manake utapata wachezaji ni wa uzoefu katika pande zote uh, utapata pia ni mechi itataka kila mmoja aweze kusajili ushindi wa kwanza ndio aweze kupata ule mwelekeo wa ligi hmm. naam ah. Suleman of Tumbo kama unazanipa matokeo ya ligi kuu ya England naweza kuona vijana wa Chelsea waliweza kufanyaje mwanake mwelekezi wangu wa leo anambia kwamba Chelsea waliweza kubamizwa kanyagwa na kugaragaza baya sana na vijana wa Spurs kwa magoli matatu kwa moja West Ham waliweza kuadhibiwa na Man City magoli manne kwa bila Everton wakaweza kuachabanga Cardiff goli moja bila jibu Brighton of Albion Walisajili sare ya goli moja kwa moja wakati ambapo walikuwa wanacheza na Leicester City mabingwa mwaka wa 2016 Manchester United waliweza kusajili sare ya kutofungana wakati ambapo walikuwa wanacheza na Crystal Palace Watford sufuri Liverpool magoli matatu Fulham matatu Southampton na Maria hawa mawili na bila shaka kevo 
Wana Maria ndo walianza kufunga katika mechi hii. Mm -hmm. Lakini matokeo ndo kama hayo. Inakuwa ni mechi. Man City mm -hmm. wanaweza msuluhu matokeo mazuri. Mhm. Mm Manu mm -hmm. kuna offside bills zilifungwa mm -hmm. both teams. Mm -hmm. Manu na na Crystal Palace mm -hmm. zote zikawa cancelled. Mm -hmm. E upande wa Manchester United msimu kidogo wamelegea ukiangalia pia kuna japo kwa wamelegea pia kuna ile issue ambao unapata mkufunzi mkuu Jose Mourinho aliomba wachezaji kadhaa lakini hakupatiwa so ya ana, ana, anapambana hali yake wale wachezaji ambao wako ndi anatumia kwa hivyo ndio maana pia management ya Manchester United kidogo wamuelekeze ilawama Unajua siku zote Mourinho ni, ni mkufunzi wa matokeo akikaa klabu msimu mmoja mbili angalau anapata kikombe of which alipata msimu uliopita cha ya kikombe cha Europa na ndio maana yake msimu wa Champions League. So msimu ni, ukiona Manchester United kidogo imedorora bas hmm. lazima ujue Edward kuna vila wapati manager support. Pengine tutaona Manchester United ikibadilika kwenye dirisha la uhamisho Januari. Hmm. Sasa tutakuwa tuna piga darubi na kuona vile mambo yatakuwa na Alwan Liverpool baada ya Sadio Mane kuongeza kandarasi ya takriban miaka mitano na timu hiyo ya wekundu wakasajili matokeo mazuri kwa msimu huu naweza sema Liverpool hawajatuonesha the swash buckling football ambao walikuwa wakicheza last season but kuna tofauti they are getting the results mm -hmm. ukiangalia mpaka sasa hawajashindwa safu yao ya ulinzi kuleta kuliko kutoka mlete Van Dijk imekuwa imara maana mm -hmm. Liverpool last season walikuwa wakicheza mechi nzuri lakini watafungwa bao moja na Watford watafungwa sijui na Bournemouth maana yake kulikuwa na combination hatari sana pale mbele Mane, walikuwa sawa Mane sala Firmino lakini shida ilikuwa sahi shida ilikuwa safu ya ulinzi uh -huh. Klopp ametatua maana ukiangalia hata mechi ya Watford Liverpool hawakucheza mechi ambayo ati ni hali ya juu lakini wanashinda kitu ambao la season mechi kama hizo wangepoteza ama labda wange draw they are winning ugly hmm. kitu wanafanya sasa this season they are winning ugly <laughs> they are winning ugly yes eh no masana <laughs> odula have you man city wamekuwa kishinda mechi zote za ligi kuu ya uingereza watashinda nbi watawini wata league unbeaten Ame. ama sahi hakuna mwezi wa kwamba anaweza win league mimi matumaini yangu makubwa sana mimi naona anaweza enda unbeaten kwa sababu sahi ndo so far all ndo ndo team wana consistency nzuri sana kwenye game zao yani game zao nyingi wana kizi approach wao iwe ni away ni home wao wana win naona mmm kulingana na team yao haijabadilika sana nyao baadhi ya ma players kidogo tu wameongeza lakini do the best team paka sasa kwenye English Premier the best team mm. and the mm. best team is going to win the trophy at the end of the season <laughs> kama kawaida wazuri <laughs> bando unamsikia huyu jamaa lakini Chelsea unajua ndo walikuwa the only team unbeaten kule Europe mmm mwelekezo wangu ibro nasema vipi si the only eh <laughs> <laughs> manake man city wameweza kuchindwa man city pia man city hajafungwa na man city hajafungwa katika ligi katika ligi anasema Europe or oh, in Europe yeah, in Europe yeah. eh bila shaka ni Chelsea lakini mambo yao yalienda Sege Mnega anasema hivyo vijana wa kale wale ambao walikuwa katika uga wa Wembley eh three, 1 wakatoa son eh hey, hatari eh wadhani kwamba watakuwa na beba ligi ama wadhani kwamba ndo msururu wa kuweza kuandikisha matokeo mabaya umeanza kwa vijana wa Sari Mwanangu kwa hiyo yako basi. Shukrani. Bisha kwa ni mchezaji huyu mkongwe sana ambaye amecheza timu mbalimbali ikiwemo Madhare, Sofa Paka. Na bila jaga. Mimi ningesemaje maoni yangu katika hiyo game ya Chelsea na Tottenham. As in Tottenham wali walichukua hiyo siku kama siku yao ya kuzaliwa. Wakaion na vile walikuja walikuja na ile walikuja na ubaya fulani walikuwa wanajua anacheza na watu wakubwa lakini walikuja na waka on game na wakashinda mm. Chelsea kidogo walilegea mi kwa maoni yangu ningesema kuwa kuna mchezaji aitwa Ngolo Kante na Jugino mm. as much as ndio tunataka kuchezesha wachezaji wawili muona Jugino na Kante as in Kante yako juu kushinda Jugino na inaka Jugino ni defensive pia ye. Kweli wrong. Kweli kabisa. lakini alifunga. Alifunga. Kama ningeongezea aliposema kwa muda wa miaka miwili mitatu iliyopita, Ngolo Kante has been the best defensive midfielder in the world. Sasa 
kulingana na ile system sari anacheza mm. ya possession football mm. anataka mm. deep line playmaker mm. ambaye sasa joginyo amekuja pale mm. kumtafutia kante na fase amemsukuma mbele mm. na kante hawezi cheza position nyingine apart from defensive midfield uh -huh. na sijuini kujitetea au vipi manake <laughs> ngono kante mwenyewe juzi amesema anafurahia sana anafurahia kucheza nini mpya ambaye amepewa role mpya ambaye amepewa role mpya ambaye amepewa na, na mkufunzi wake mm. sari mm. so nadhani labda ni yeye kujitetea kumficha mkufunzi wake sari au anafurahia kiukweli. Mm. Naam. No. No. Pia kurejelea kurejelea katika uh, fumu ya Man City utapata Man City ni kama wanataka kusawazisha ile ile record ambayo waliweka msimu uliopita kuweza kufunga mas, magoli zaidi ya mia moja. Mm. Na eh, nidhihirisho kuu katika mechi ya juzi, mechi za juzi zilizopita karibu tano wanafunga maba, magoli zaidi ya nne, tatu ne tatu tano basi ni kongole kwa ona basi safu yao ya mbele basi inaweza kufanya kazi na pia nyuma wanaweza kuzuia na nitasema pia hapo shikana unajua saizi hii ligi inapokwenda inazidi kuwa ngumu kuna wakati ligi inafika teams zina tie points no. so zinaangalia hizo mabao hizo no. goal difference zina work no. so lazima coach wa man city lazima awapush no. lazima wapate mabao no. mengi no. yeah. inaweza saidia pengine mimi nikiongeza Nikiangalia club kama Man City hivi ukiangalia mkufunzi wao Guardiola ukiangalia rekodi yake akiwa Barcelona akienda Bayern Munich nilikuwa naangalia kwa misimu saba ambao amecoach eh, ukijumuisha pamoja Bayern Munich na Barcelona hizo misimu saba amebeba vikombe ishirini na moja. Mm hiyo -hmm. inamaanisha kwa kila msimu anabeba vikombe tatu. kwa mara ya kwanza kwa historia Guardiola ameenda msimu mzima bila kubeba kikombe of which ilikuwa ni England na baada hapo kidogo unaona aliweza kuunda kikosi chake e, wazungu wanasema ni Guardiola team mm -hmm. na aka, akabeba league kila penye anaenda lazima kuna Guardiola team um, yes, team yake ambayo anaunda yes anaunda kikosi wote alia oh sijui ya Yature ni mzuri achezi mm. kidogo yeye atafukuza ya strategy yake mchezaji wake <laughs> na hata atacheza vizuri uh. ukiangalia pia ametoa wachezaji kaki na Zabaleta Kolaro Vungi imagine kama Manchester City ingeweza bila au kina yeah. Johar atakawafukuza mm. anaunda kikosi chake Kolaro anafanya vizuri kule Roma ndio maana yake mm. size Man City na cheza vizuri e, na pia ukiangalia wacha wa kufunzi kama Maurizio Sari au ni wa kufunzi wa showbiz anytime <laughs> yeye na Jurgen Klopp ndio timu itacheza vizuri lakini ukiangalia mtu kama Jurgen Klopp hata nilikuwa naona Sergio Ramos anamkejeli kidogo anamwambia wewe umefika finali sita umebeba moja peke yake na unabishana Real Madrid Champions League <laughs> Maurizio <laughs> Sari mm. timu zake zote huwa zinagonga tikitaka lakini hajawahi beba any major trophy kwa hivyo expect Chelsea kugonga sana lakini at the end of the season mlicheza vizuri lakini walicheza vizuri lakini yes. Lakini Chelsea mm. <laughs> 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 Chelsea nadhani uh, coach wa aliyopita Antonio Conte aliua okay. team kumuuza Diego Costa. Mm -hmm. Maana ukiangalia ma strike waliobaki nao wawili hao wanashinda mm. wanashinda so so wana 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 <laughs> na kuangalia nani ndio kesho ayu. Lakini pia ukiangalia coach kama Rizzo Sari pia anajipeana maana yake unaona ameweza kuleta amerudisha ame David Luiz kwa kikosi na unapata David Luiz wakati wa Mourinho alikuwa ameisha kabisa kwa national team ya Brazil ameisha kabisa ameenda PSG bado amewekwa bench na vijana akina Makinyos yeah, eh, na na Thiago Silva ni playing from the back mm -hmm. so, i need ball playing defenders mm -hmm. uh, Luiz is a very good ball playing defender but he could just for the art of defending ayumo maana ukiangalia bao ya Son rudi kwa mastreka wa Chelsea. Mm. Au mastreka wa Chelsea msiwaekee blame sana. Juu mimi naona katika zile hata kat, <laughs> katika zile timu walikuwa <laughs> kwa sio walikuwa na perform na wana, wana score kila game. Mm -hmm. Eh yeah. maana niliona Morata kwa Real Madrid alikuwa anaka bench lakini the, eh, Juve pia anaka bench sometimes lakini akipata nafasi ya kuingia anakuja na sawazisha anapiga magoli yake. Eh, Giroud pia kwa Arsenal ilikuwa hivyo hivyo. So tatizo sijui ni Chelsea ama ni coach ama ni system ama ni nini. Tatizo ni Morata chance anapata. Kufunga ndio afungi. Sari sari. Chance anapata. Kufunga na Roma. Kufunga ndio afungi. Maana ukiangalia mabao nadhani hata ungekuwa na clip hapo kuonesha ile bao Morata amepoteza. Bila shaka mlekezo wangu sijui futubu kama unazo na watakuwa naziangalia. Sari sari katika mechi ya juzi ambao ambao wameweza kuipoteza dhidi ya Tottenham. Basi ama walimbikizia lawama wachezaji wake kuwa katika ni defensive part ya team au kuweza kufanya au kuweza kufanya vizuri au kuweza kuzuia. Akisema basi 
uh, defensive part alikuwa uh, amanishi kuwa ni wale ma defenders peke yake alikuwa na maanisha basi kuanzia safu ya mbele mzima. katikati timu nzima hadi safu yake ya nyuma pia na wale wachezaji wako wa pembeni hawakujua wakati wa kuzuia na pia wakati wa wa kuenda na kuwakabili ku wapinzani wao. Naam. Naam. Na Monday. Acha nikusumbue kidogo. Bila shaka nisumbue sana. Kwa hiyo maneno ya mjomba. Ukiangalia vizuri katika mechi Ngolo Kante na Jogino. Ngolo Kante ako mbele, Jogino yuko pale kwa shimo. Si ndio? Na saa zote Kante akipoteza mpira alikuwa mbele ya Jogino na goli zote za Tottenham zilifungua through counter attack yeah, counter attack yeah. mm. goli zote na Jogino alikuwa in all defensive positions akiwa zote tatu yeah. he was involved in all of them yeah. Yeah. which na believing yeah. according well, golokante mm. angezuia angezuia yeah. yeah. that's my point yeah. Yeah. na <laughs> oh, mande uh, sasa tuzimaliza maana najua kwamba kuna uh, ni basi the story for another day arsenal arsenal walikuwa kufanya vizuri sana maana kwa walianza vibaya wakawaje wakapik sasa hiyo anaenda kuenda no. ni kupiga kupiga. Kevo. Wanapiga kupiga vijana wa Arsenal. Arsenal wanapiga kupiga lakini kwa mechi kubwa wamedorora wame sana. Ukiangalia mechi yao dhidi ya Manchester City msimu ukianza wakarudi wakacheza na Chelsea. Juzi juzi umeona wamecheza dhidi ya Liverpool na walipoteza nafasi mingi. Mechi ya eh, ilikuwa ni jana. Mm. Eh, for the first time nimeona Arsenal ikiziba manake walitumia mfumo wa 5-4-1. Tangu lini Arsenal ikachezea ma defenders 5, 5, 5, 5. tano. Mm. Eh, because niliona Rob Holding yuko, Colasina yuko, Socrates yuko. 3-5-2. 352 mm. lakini kidogo alikuwa na ziba kukuwa na ubunifu wote amejaza ma defender na ukipata bado timu ambao kama ni Arsenal wana combine Granit Xhaka na Torreira bado hiyo ni kuziba wameziba ndio maana yake unaona kidogo tu walipata ushindi lakini hata kwa mashabiki wa Arsenal lakini kidogo ushindi ushindi wa Arsenal huko kwa sababu kuna tofauti ya Wenga na Yuna Emre <laughs> basi amekuja na mbinu yake mbinu yake, mbinu yake. <laughs> naam basi ndio unapata wachezaji wa Arsenal sasa hizo wameweza wanaweza kucheza mpira ambao umekomaa hmm. na mpira ambao una ubunifu na pia wa ubabe mwingi kuliko ule wa Arsenal wa Wenga naam ah, no. <laughs> mechi mbili zilizopita katika uwanja wa Bournemouth Arsenal wamepigwa mbili moja kwa Madrid tatu tatu mm-hmm. kwa hivyo ukiangalia it was a good result yesterday <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> walipata matokeo mazuri <laughs> Eh? Eh? Kocha wao mpya na mbinu yake pia na kwa sababu ana perform pia yeye hataki close game that's why anapata bao unapata bao na una lock game ndio maana wasoli wasemaje ile chai iko kwa kikombe ndio ndo mtakunywa na bila shaka wasoli kwambia kwamba ile chai ambayo iko kwa kikombe ndio utakunywa na kwa kauli hii tuachukua mapumziko mafupi na wajua kwamba ligi ama mashindano ya kofbiro ya shango wananga na tayari anaendelea kuna timu moja kule South Sea ambayo ni kwa mara ya kwanza wanashirikisha vijana wa South Sea kuweza kushiriki katika mashindano haya lakini kauli hino tutakuwa naipata katika omu yetu ya tatu na tutavuta pumzi kidogo na tukirudi tutakuwa narudi na mambo makubwa sana ambayo yanafanyika katika taifa hili la Kenya hasa katika tasnia ya michezo Horizon TV the beacon for the nation Nachukua fursa hii kukaribisha katika kipindi chako cha kila wiki neno hili fikri ni ufahamu yani kufahamu kitu la jirani ni lipi no. la mkubwa ni lipi no. la mtoto ni lipi mm. la usiku ni lipi mm. la mchana ni lipi mm. hiyo ndio yaitwa fikri dini hii ya uislamu mm. kila kitu hatutafuti popote kunwa maji atakavyo Mungu. Kwa nini Mwenyezi Mungu amehamisha nguruwe? Kabla kwa nini Mwenyezi Mungu mbona hujauliza Mwenyezi Mungu kwa nini amelalisha mbuzi? Mwenye kula nguruwe hana ni mtu kwa hana wivu. Uislamu umekuja umekamilika. Hata wadudu watafuta amani. Hawataki kuuziwa na wao pia. Wala Uislamu haukuja kuwaudhi hata wadudu ni makosa. The Daily Reminder Network presents 
Dua Revival Season 2. Assalamu alaikum. One time while I was traveling on an airplane during Ramadan, I saw a man who was extremely drunk. He was acting foolishly and many people were expressing how disturbed they felt from his behavior. And we were told that he was wasted, i.e. drunk. He even started yelling at the pilot to, go, to quickly leave the gate. He's like, let's go, let's go, let's go. May Allah protect us. Once we actually had took off and we are in the air, he left his seat and he started walking. And out of everybody on the airplane, he came to me and he placed his hand firmly on my left shoulder. And he said, how are you Habibi? At this point, I was really confused and I said, I'm doing good, Alhamdulillah. Then I turned around to see if there's a flight attendant who was going to come and repress him away from me. But then the man came closer and his breath was reeking of the smell of alcohol. May Allah protect us. And he said to me the following, I'm a Muslim brother. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu an muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. And at this point, I became really shocked and sad. I know many of you would want me to continue the story, but brothers and sisters, please pay attention and note. You need to realize that many times throughout your life, you will come by people and by stories who have been afflicted. And these afflictions, pay attention, can be, for example, in one's health, such as someone being blind. May Allah cure our brothers and sisters who are blind. Ameen Rabbil Alameen. And that affliction can also be in one's religion. And that's worse. May Allah protect us. Now, when such thing happens, how was your behavior? It's not a question. It's not about how they behave and so on. Now, what's your reaction to their behavior? Will you be arrogant? Will you make fun of them? How and what will you say? Now, listen to this hadith, which Rasulullah has said. This hadith can be found in a Tirmidhi and was classified as Hassan, as authentic by Al Albani. The Prophet said, Don't forget to say, Whoever sees a person who has been afflicted, فقال, and then says, and then says what? Alhamdulillah, all praise is due to Allah. Alladhi, the one who, the one who did what? The one who did the following two things. Pay attention. Alhamdulillah, alladhi afani mimma abtalaka bih. The one who saved me from that which he has afflicted you with. وفضلني على كثير ممن خلق تفضيلا. And the one who has blessed me greatly over many of those whom he has created. Whoever says these two statements, brothers and sisters, the Prophet says, إلا عوفي من ذلك البلاء كائنا ما كان ما عاش. الله أكبر. Whoever says that dua upon seeing an afflicted person, then he or she shall be saved from that affliction for as long as he or she lives. الله أكبر. Meaning. He or she will not experience going through it the same way that other person you saw is experiencing it. So brothers and sisters, instead of making fun of the person or for example, acting arrogantly towards them, rather stay humble, be grateful that you're not in their place and say the dua, Alhamdulillah alladhi aafani mimma abtalaka bihi wa faddalani ala kathirin mimman khalaqa tafdeela. الحمد لله الذي عافاني مما ابتلاك به وفدلاني على كثير ممن خلق تفضيلا May Allah bless you and protect you, brothers and sisters. Please be sure to share this video. جزاكم الله خيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Horizon TV, the beacon for the nation.
mwaka ni awamu ya tatu awamu ya mwisho ndani ya kipindi babu kubwa sanchari ya michezo na nipo na kikosi babu kubwa sana hapa ambacho tumekuwa tukidadisi mambo mbalimbali ambayo yanafanyika katika e, soka hasa soka ya Uingereza na tumekuwa tukizoea wachezaji wawili Jojinho pamoja na Ngolo Kante Je, wadhani kwamba ni hatua nzuri ambayo Mourinho amechukua au Kunradhi Sari amechukua kuweza kuchezesha hawa wachezaji wawili Anwar Ah, kwa maoni yangu mimi nilivyosema mwanzoni hapo Ngolo Kante amekuwa the best defensive midfielder in the world. Sasa kulingana na ile system ya Sari ya 433. Ukiangalia hata kwa hiyo 3 Kante anacheza almost wide. Ni kama yani kama winger. Of which yani hata yani ukicheza hapo una expect highly provide assist, highly provide mabao. Kwa hivyo his main role ni ku break up play. Main role ya Joginho ni playing from the back. So I think Sari kitu angefanya angebadilisha system kama anaohitaji wote wawili to maybe 4 2 3 1 kuwa incorporate pale wawili. Na ukiangalia bao Chelsea walivyofungwa zote tatu. Ya kwanza ile kichwa Joginho ndo alikuwa amemark play ambaye alipiga kichwa. Mm, really? Ya pili alishindwa ku track run ya Hurricane. Ya tatu yeye ndo alipitwa so. na Son. Ambapo mimi naamini kama ingelikuwa ni Ngolo Kante yuko pale yote hizo zingefanyika. Mm. Odula kama mchezaji wadhani kwamba mfumo wa usiba nne nne mbili tatu moja nne mbili tatu moja unafaa kwa kikosi cha Chelsea mimi nakubaliana na maoni ya Anwar kwa sababu ukianga na matatizo kidogo juu kutoka pasi za mwisho kutoka kwa Ngolo Kante na kwa shida juu yeye ni mtu amezoea kunyang'anya na kuwapa watu wafanye hiyo shughuli nyingine so kila mtu ana role yake hapo sasa mimi naona ukimpa Ngolo Kante role kama hiyo umempa wakati mgumu sana kwenye uwanja. Mm. So wanaposema wanwar ni wakiwaleta wote wacheze holding then wabalishe hiyo huo mfumo. Hizo games zinazokuja unaweza kucheza mchezo mzuri zaidi. Mm. Na bila shaka ni mazungumzo hapa ndani ya Runinga Bob Kubas eh, Horizon TV Sanchari ya michezo na bila shaka leo ni siku ama leo kuna E, mmoja wa walekezi wangu Troy Minard anasherekea siku yake ya kuzaliwa. Naam, happy birthday Troy. Bila shaka uta, after hapo atakuwa tunaenda mjini. Angalau uweze kupata kahawa pamoja na keki basi nifate. Naam, na ni kwamba mashindano ya Cotbiro Tournament awamu ya 19 e, ashango wananga rasmi katika uwanja wa Ziwani na kuna timu moja kutoka mtaa wa South Sea wamekuwa kishiriki katika mashindano haya lakini wachezaji ambao wamekuwa kichezea timu ya South Sea wamekuwa kitoka nje ya mtahuno wa South Sea lakini kuanzia juma lilopita wamekuwa kitafuta wachezaji hasa katika mtaa wa South Sea ili kuweza kuwakilisha mtaa wao kwenye mashindano ya Cotbiro Tournament Leza ku e, jumuika nao katika selection yao ambayo ilikuwa inafanyika kule CID na kuweza kupatana na mmoja wa kufunzi na kuweza kunieleza jinsi ambavyo wanataka na matarisho yako vipi na wanataka kufanya nini baada ya Cotbiro tournament. Tuje jaribu kutengeza timu ya South Sea. Koti yenye ina sura ya South Sea. Sababu yetu ya kujalewa hapa kutengeza timu la season edition ya 39 ya Cotbiro tuliweka timu la jina ndio ilikuwa South Sea but players tuliafuku borwa kwa mtaa zingine tuliona mpaka quarters yes but haikuturudisha kwa sababu sisi sisi tukaamua this season twende this season tena tukaenda game ya kwanza tumejaa shauri moyo if for the edition ya Cotbiro game ya kwanza ndio tuli lose but hata lose na player tumechukua kutoka Kibira na High Rise so na taka Thursday next week tuna game na Opitos Cotbiro South Sea. We are ready. Watupige, watupige. Watuna mimi tatu full result. Tucheze ikwefisa South Sea. But hatutengezi tu team ati ni ya Cotbiro long term. Nataka tuanze na league chini. Nataka tuanze na county league tukipanda pole pole. Purpose pia ni kukijana busy. Mkiangalia hapa age of jana ni wadogo. So, tukiwa na facilities na tuzitumie. Hapo jana Friday unapata mimi na mashughuli zingine zaidi. So tunaanacha pole pole tunayonyataweza kupata moja ende task mwingine goal mwingine well and good but this out siku ina team leo siku ya kwanza tumepata wachezaji 52 na nikitu tulianza tena whatsapp tukatengeza group tukawapatia motisha kujeni nini facilities zitakuwa kidekiari leo zimetwaya sijafika but by monday kile kitakuwa
Anwar, ni kosha huyu anajitai. Ndio mtaa yako. Ivo, ndio mtaani. Na nasema kwamba wanataka kosa cha South Sea. Washinde, washinde. Wadhani kosha za alafu kwa na mazibio kama hayo. Ukiangalia kwa tibiro, yani system ambayo imekuwa kichezwa ni team za mitaa mitaa. Na of late tutapata yani kama mna feel team yenu si strong mnakodisha watu kutoka kwa hivyo mimi nakubaliana na kocha yani haina haja tuwe ni South Sea jina mm. na maplayer wote wametoka South Sea South Sea no. eh. yeah. so ni kitu bora sana ama kitu fiti kuweza kutafuta wachezaji ambao kweli inawapatia pia wale vijana wa mtaani pale moral kwamba pia sisi tunaweza inawapatia hiyo exposure kwenda kukutana na maana ukiangalia kwa tibiro imechezwa na Atakina football mande kina kwa watu ma football the footballers in Kenya wamepitia ile tournament ya Kothbiro. Au mwe ya 19 kama zikosea iko vipi maana kingo shua kwamba kuna si madai haya ni jambo kweli kuna timu ambayo umeipeleka kule wewe kama mkufunzi tujua kafanyaje bwana. Game ya kwanza tumeshinda moja bila. Na kesho tutakuwa na mechi yetu ya pili saa tisa. Mm -hmm. Na pia tunatumai kupata ushindi pia. Preparation imekuwaaje? Ah uh, preparation zimekuwa poa kabisa, tunashukuru. Uh -huh. Maplayer wamejitokeza mazoezi vizuri. Mm. Na hata kulingana na game ya kwanza ambayo tulikuwa tunaona ndio ngumu zaidi katika group yetu, tulipata ushindi. Naam. Au ya 19 nyinyi unabeba? Kabisa. Mm. Tuna imani. Nilisikia <laughs> 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 kuna tetezi zingine kwamba ulikuwa unatakuchezea timu ya South Sea. <laughs> Na wewe si mkazi wa huko. Najua najua bila shaka nitaweza kumsuta Abdul. 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 Najua ndio anataka kunisajili na dongenono kabisa. Ndio nilimwambia kwamba kuna timu ambayo itakumsajili. Mwakumbuka kipindi kikianza nikimuuliza kwamba kuna timu ambayo itakumsajili ameadmit wenyewe. Haiko haiko ya Kotbiro. Unajua kwamba kwamba njia Mungu ni fupi. Mbona ukuta kutambia? Ilikuwa kando na Kotbiro, sio Kotbiro. Eh wana Kotbiro kuna timu ambayo bila shaka wamekuambia kwamba after Kotbiro tournament watakuwa naanza sub county county league divwa div 2 pro v ndesela dofike. Nitaweza kumpa Kongole madai yake coach Ayeko ambapo anasema wafungo wasifungo eh basi yeye yuko yuko twist yuko twist na timu yake. Huyu ni mkufunzi ambaye ana anandoto za hapo awali ambapo anataka kutengeneza timu aanzie mahali hadi ifike sehemu fulani uh, utapata kuwa si yule mkufunzi ambaye anataka tu basi wakati wa tournament hizi za Kotbiro basi ndio anakusanya wa, wa, vijana waweze kucheza hizo tournament bado anataka iwe ni timu ipo itakuwepo na bado itakuwa katika uh, siku za usoni mm. na bila shaka tutakuwa tunaona wakifanya kweli vijana hawa South Sea ndio the first time assignment ya kwanza ni Kotbiro tournament <laughs> Na ando wa misuwa kumbwa timu yake itakuwa inaibuka na ushindi katika mashidano haya ya wame ya kumi na tisa kush. Na wachezaji hapa ambao meweza wachiza katika ligi ya KPL, Odula, Mande, Shikanda, hakuna chuse bila shaka limulekezu wangu ambaya nantania. Wawuzi kumbwa kitu kipa ambayo kina fa kufanyo ili kwa kisha kumbwa boli hapa nchini na kwa improved. Tuna, tuna facilities za kutosha tuna viwanja mm -hmm. and everything mm -hmm. cha cha kwanza ni kwa pengine ni kuhamasisha wadhamin uweze kujitokeza kwa wingi sana na pia exposure ikuwe ni televisheni ikuwe ni eh, vyombo vya kitu kama radio pengine wanaleta mechi za Kenya Premier League live eh, instead ya kugoja hadi siku Manchester United inacheza ndio wanaleta kuhusu eh, kina Pogba vile wanafanya ni vizuri kwanza tunaanza na hapa nyumbani na pia wachezaji pia walipo vizuri kumbuka pia pesa na sabuni ya roho e, na pengine tukiangalia tu the reason as to why maybe mchezo mm, wa Kenya wa soka pengine uko chini kiasi juzi juzi wasichana wa Kenya Arambi Stale wamefuzu mm -hmm. wamefuzu walikuwa wanafaa kwenda kucheza michuano ya bara Afrika lakini siji kulienda aje mpaka wakatolewa hakuna excuse ambayo ilitolewa mm. au wasichana paso ya nikiangalia wako discouraged na hiyo ni golden generation itaisha tu hivyo manake cup of nation pengine itakuja baada ya miaka mingine miine mm. so hiyo ni frustration wamejikaza wamechapa timu kubwa kugenda aje federation inasema oh sijui tutaandika eh, tuta appeal hakuna chenye ime, hakuna wa chochote ambao kimesemekana mm -hmm. <coughs> 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 
story ya Rambe Stalets mm -hmm. I think kulikuwa na msichana mmoja sijui alikuwa na makaratasi ziko po wow, na anakubalishwa kucheza mm -hmm. of which walirudi back kwa nini mm -hmm. na kuangaliwa ikaregeshwa mm -hmm. vizuri ile kauli ya kule CAF mm -hmm. walisema kwa msichana yuko ni eligible ku, kucheza na hakuna shida yote so wali overrule hiyo mm -hmm. issue that's why walirudishwa back kwa nini okay yeah. lakini uh, tukiangalia tu apart from kikosi cha Rambe Stars pia unapata team za ya national team kama ya wale mavu unaona kind the kind, uh, yes the kind yeah. of treatment ambao wanapata kutoka kwa serikali na shirikisho la soka hapa nchini definitely ni makosa sana Kenya. there was a time Rambe Stars ilienda i think ni Nigeria wakaenda wakalala mali hapa kwa pazuri sana wakaenda kucheza team wakaenda kwa primary school yes you can imagine <laughs> You can team ya taifa, team ya taifa. wanawakilisha eh. Kenya katika mashindano makubwa. Mm -hmm. Nita kukataa ule kidogo pia hapo. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu hiyo safari mimi nilikuwa kwenye Bila shaka. Hiyo hayo matesi alitupata, mimi hata nilikuwa kwenye safari. Mm -hmm. Lakini mimi kitu ambacho nitasema labda I think arrangements ndo zilikuwa pia poa. Mm -hmm. Unajua um, sometimes nasema uh, nchi jirani ama timu za jirani hivi mm -hmm. Uh, kuna timu za umeona timu za kutoka kwa Arabu na kuja hapa mm -hmm. wanatumwa watu mm -hmm. one week before wanakuja mm -hmm. na ss kila kitu mm -hmm. foods nini mm -hmm. eh, hotels shona mm -hmm. grounds mm -hmm. so sisi pia matayari shoto tunafikiri alikuwa kidogo hapo alikutulifail mm -hmm. juu tulifika kweli uh, apart from hiyo ground tulienda uh, tuka train ya shule mm -hmm. kwanza kwa na ground ilikuwa kwa tu ni madarasa mm -hmm. so yeah. kama madarasa hivi yamepangwa katikati kuna hii kuna kama yeah. nafasi sasa hiyo veranda tulifanya kama ku warm so na jioni apart from that tukienda tulipomaliza hiyo warm tukaenda kwa hotel ku relax kioga tukingoja tuki food ya jioni okay, kulikuwa na disaster hakuna mm -hmm. chakula yoga peke yake ah tulienda nini tuseme ku take shower <laughs> uh, i mean sorry ku take shower tukimaliza tukienda kula Maji yeah. moto ama alikuwa maji baridi? Alikuwa ni maji ya moto but mm -hmm. tukienda kwa upande wa food kulikuwa na utata kidogo. Mm -hmm. Cuz walisema tena kuwa na food maplaza walikuwa wakicomplain waki juu food mm -hmm. zilikuwa na masala mingi hizi mapilipili. Mm -hmm. Wajua Nigeria wanakuwa wanapenda mm -hmm. sana hizo vitu. Mm -hmm. So wao no, complain ambao coach alikwenda aka fufu. Coach alienda ka complain, coach alikuwa ni Adele. Alienda ka complain sana lakini sasa wanaona na complain pia wasema wachezaji wote wanakula hizo vitu. Mwalimu amtaka. Mwalimu sio kwa wale kama walikuwa so kwa cha pilipili nyingi ndio kiwathiri wajani so yani kulikuwa na issues issues peti peti issues mingi yani ambapo mimi kitu kipande mwenye tarudi kwenye hiyo arrangements waga ni muhimu sana kwa sababu hata hapa kusukonyo hili swala la Arambe Stalets kulikuwa na tetesi pia hapo atakuwa waendi juu kwa kuna nini fedha za kutosha sasa si juu ya watu wanaanza ku 35 million kuweza kuandaa kila kitu matayarisho and everything juu watu wanaanza ku ku arrange kuingia kwa tournament ama ku kuenda ku kucheza tournament nini kwa ni hawezi jua kama federation kwa hawa kipita itakuwa je uko mbele na ndo walifanikiwa wale wakapita then walipopita na kuwa tena kwa hakuna uh, uh, hakuna uh, 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 pesa hivi na hivi so na kuna hiyo ni pande mwingine kuna mipangilio hakuna mipangilio mizuri pia inavunja moral kwa wachezaji juu wamejitolea mm -hmm. eh, kuanzia hiyo tournament ikiendelea paka wamefikia mali fulani then waja kusikia vitu kama hizo zinatokezea mm -hmm. so mipango ndo inakuwa poa okay mm -hmm. mande wadhani kwamba nini nafaa kufanyika katika ligeti ya Kenya ili kwa kwamba inaimarika maana kwa kucheza changamoto umeweza kukumbana nazo labda wadhani wanaweza change wapi ndo wa improve Uh, ligi hino ya Kenya. Uh, kwa maoni yangu mimi ningesema kwanza kabisa tungeanzia pale chini grassroots. Grassroots. Kwa vijana wadogo mm. at least tuna educate and then tunawapatia tunawapatia njia poa ile ya, ku, ya kuelekeza ya, ya kuelekeza ile wakifika wao wakubwa kuna vile wamelearn vitu. Mm. So si tunataka ati performance ya saa hii lakini bado hatujajipanga. Mm. Yeah. So Juu, ina take time ku sisi kwenda ta World Cup kwenda wapi? Mm. Ina take time. Kwa hivyo ukianzia hapa chini hapa juu tutafika. Maana kwa mwelekezo wangu eh, Muhammad tu ananiambia kwamba nahodha muda wako umeweza kutomatika na at Kenya the only way we can win a World Cup trophy is by stealing it. <laughs> Alwar <laughs> 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 tu 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 tumalize 
uh, like uh, Kenya ndiyo ligi itakuwa inaanza tarehe moja, moja. karibu bangi sharks watakuwa anacheza na Gor Mahia kule Machakos i hope ligi itakuwa poa na natujua kwamba kocha wa Kogalo alishajiondoa na yuko South Africa kule mm -hmm. uh, Black Leopards uh, anajaribu kuonyesha tajiriba yake na humu nchini ziko amechukua hatamu je Kogalo tuwatarajie katika hatua ya quarters ama robo finali katika mashindano ya vilabu bingwa barani Afrika ndio au la football ni game of chance anything can happen kwa hivyo kama mkenya ningependelea wakipita ingelikuwa ni bora zaidi kwa hivyo ningesema naam shukrani sana bila shaka mkizoni na mkombe tuna muda sasa di Juma alijalo shikanda naam kwa sekunde mbili naam Wadhani kwamba msimu ujao utakapomalizika timu ya City Stars itakuwa inachupa hadi ligi kuu ya humu nchini KPL. Ndio ula. Ndio. Shukran sana. Kitino <laughs> Dula. Shukran sana kwa kuweza kutika muda wako kuweza kuungana nasi katika studio zetu za Horizon TV. Na bila shaka kila siku ya Jumatatu tutakuwa hapa eh, sikijiweni japo studio ni kuweza kudadisi masala ya soka ya humu nchini na soka la kimataifa Ozon Mande shukran sana brother na tuwai kwamba tutakuwa tunangazia mambo mengi sana ambayo yanafanyika kote ulimwenguni na Anwar shukran sana na bila shaka vijana wako watakuwa wanafanya vizuri katika mashindano ya Court Bureau Tournament kevo mm -hmm. Asante bro. <laughs> <laughs> na bila shaka hivyo tutamaliza kipindi hichi cha leo Sanchari ya michezo. Na alikuwa ni siku ya Jumatatu kipindi babu kubwa Sanchari ya michezo kiweza kungwa nanga Monday, Wednesday, Friday na hodha atakuwa na jaja studio ni kuweza kuletea mambo ambayo yanafanyika katika tasnia ya soka pamoja na michezo mbali mbali. Siku hii ya Jumatatu kuna mambo mengi sana ambayo yapo jikoni yanapikwa na mengine tayari yameiva tutakuwa tunakupakulia kila siku ya Jumatatu utakuwa unapata uhondo kamili mambo mengi sana yameweza kubadilika na hivi leo nitakuwa na maliza lakini nitakuwa na kuacha na wasifu wa mchezaji mmoja ambaye anachezea South Sea eh, United mchezaji huyu alianzia soka yake kule Malindi na angependa sana kuchezea timu ya Arsenal na anasema kwamba anapenda sana chakula cha biryani maana kwa kwamba tokawa Malindi lakini jambo ambalo niniambia ni kwamba anapenda Arsenal juu ya Fabregas licha ya Fabregas kuweza kula klabu hiyo na kuweza kujiunga na Chelsea basi ana mdhamini sana na anamwezi sana mchezaji huyu na natamani sana kuweza kucheza ama anatamani sana kuweza kuchezea timu ya Arsenal basi tuweze kupata wasifu wake mchezaji huyu na tuorane siku ya Jumatano ndani ya kipindi babu kubwa sanchari ya michezo tukiwa dai Idi Shikanda tukiwa tumekupikia mambo mengi sana ambayo tutakuwa tuna ya pakuwa Troy Minard happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday tafutane baada ya kipindi ukeze kupata kahawa na kwa mwelekezo wangu Suleiman of Tumbo bila shaka kila laheri na kongole sana kwa kuweza e, kufaulu na ni fahali huno ambaye atakuwa na wanasema graduation yako graduation yake iko siku ya Ijumaa kila laheri sana of Tumbo na mshukrani sana Muhammad Otweyo kwa kuweza kufanisha kwamba kipindi hichi kinaenda hewani Fauzia Murono pamoja na wapiga picha wote harare hadi siku ya Jumatano Masalam. <laughs> uh, kwa majina kamili naitwa Mohamed Khalid Salim. Niko na 23 years na uh, nimezaliwa Malindi. Uh, kucheza boli mimi nilianza kutoka Malindi nikiwa mdogo sana. Kuanzia boli tulichezea sisi tukiwa baharini kule beach. Tulianza kucheza huko kutoka tukiwa mdogo huko nikiwa na miaka kama mitano hivi nakumbuka. Nikiwa primary bado aka sasa inaendelea. Na kusema kweli nimecheza ligi za mtaani hapa na nimeshinda ma awards kadhaa hivi. Na mimi hata ndio captain wao hapa. Niko na yani awards niko na matrophy pia. Nashukuru Mungu pia mali nimefika. Uh, best moments yangu ya football nikiwa high school. Nakumbuka tukiwa uh, uh, finali tukiwa tunacheza shule nini inter, inter schools. Nilifunga bao ya finali na nikatuzwa mimi ndo mchezaji bora katika hiyo tournament yote. Worst moment yangu na nilivunjika goti. Niliumia vibaya sana. 
Leo sitaki hata kukumbuka hata siku moja kabisa. Nilikuwa mbaya sana. Kitu na nisukumo kuchiza boli nao hiyo ni bidi yangu, hiyo ni passion, ni kama ni mezaliwa nao tukipaji. Sezi kwa nyumbani bila kuchiza boli, nikuwa nao katika damu ya ni. Mi mchezaji mbora mbona wa eni, idol wangu ni Fabrika Sibana. Toka kiwa senali, mi mchisapota senali. Na mbaka sayi ya menda chelisi lakini bado na mpenda, eni nataka kuchiza kama ya eni. Fabrika Sibana na mpenda sababu ya mchezaji boli haki tu ni simple. Anajua kuja pasi, ana vision. Eni mchizaji tu mbora kwa wangu. Kenya mchizaji mbora mbona wa eni na mpenda sana ya obvious captain wetu bana wanyama. Uwe nae mimi, ningependa tu kwa kama ee, ana inspire tu sana ee. Kusema kweli nkita kutuwa wito kwa vijana wenzangu, mandugi zangu, aswa wale wakopani. Kusema kweli, wani, ata nikiangalia marafiki zangu wengi wa mingelezo vitu sana. Na wani nikienda kule kama holiday hivi, wana nkana wana ongelesha, wani, warudi wajua wachize mpira. Kusema kweli, wakona kipaji wote, kuna wengi zaidi wakali zaidi, wani, wakona wanajua boli sana. Lakini ni hiyo tu. Asa uwa mi nkienda na ongea na wawo, wani, Wambia wachana hizo vitu, wengie zoezi, itawasaidia maisha ni kuliko hizo vitu. Sasa hivi ni kona timu wapa ya hapa South Sea na ito South Sea Academy. E, na mindo captain wawo. E, tukona kategori ya kila vijana ni kutoka wadogo mpaka wa seniors. E, Tuko hapa South Sea. E, sisi kwa sasa tunacheza katika ligi ya left foot. Ambuwa ni Aomacha, ni Aita side. Na kwa sasa hivi tusha maliza. Tumeshinda, tumetoka nambari sita na think. E, na si tunapiga tunafanya tu bidii tunataka at least kama next season hivi tucheze kama county hivi ama provi hiyo ndio bidii yetu hivi na mimi kama captain nawaimiza mara yeni wachezaji wenzangu tushike bidii tufanye bidii yani tufike mbali at least tujenge maisha yetu chakula la kipenda biryani bana sio ndio kwa malindi Horizon T. On the next episode. What are some of the symptoms that someone is suffering from any of the mental diseases? People who come from backgrounds of sexual assault, people from who come from backgrounds where there is abuse between their parents and such things weigh down on somebody's mental abilities to function as a normal human being. When you say you want to take, take your life for instance, so how do you want to do this? What do you want to do? When do you want to do it? Um, so suicidal ideations are, are symptomatic of other things going on. For example, in the recent uh, wave of pregnancy thing, Yes. Uh, how do you think, what do you think goes through the mind of that student who gives birth during exam? If they repress these emotions and if that repression goes on for such a long period of time, that is when we say they develop now depressive tendencies.